Hi, my name is Darshan. I'm an online tutor of math and physics. Uh, this is the part three of this tutorial where we are talking about semi-logs and we are going to talk about how to convert a semi-log plot into a linear function. I mean, you know, the equation and eventually into an exponential function. So I'm going to explain that using an example so that you get a formula, a very decent formula, which you can just, just apply to the semi-log plot and convert into linear. And then we are eventually going to see how to convert into an exponential function. All right, so I'm going to explain that to you using this example so that we uh, pretty much understand how to convert a semi-log to a linear and eventually an exponential. So the question says that write an equation for the linear model of the semi-log and eventually write the equation of the exponential form of the original function as well. Okay, the first things first, how to find the slope because linear model has two things, right? Y-intercept and the slope. First, I'm going to give you a formula for the slope. Uh, first, we'll consider any two points on this curve, maybe x1, y1 and x2, y2. So the slope is going to be not the rise over run, not the simple rise over run, because remember the y-axis has been logarithmically scaled. So that's going to be log of y2 minus log of y1 over x2 minus x1. And what is log a minus log b? That is log of a over b. That's going to be log of y2 over y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is going to be your formula for the slope. And what will be the formula for the y-intercept? Obviously, I do not see any y-intercept over here, but we are going to extrapolate that line and see where it is potentially intersecting the y-axis. So uh, if we draw a line over here, it seems to intersect uh, between, uh, I believe, this point and this point, right? Uh, this is 10, so this is 20, and this is 30. 25, around 25. So what will be the y-intercept? y-intercept will be the log of 25. So the formula for b is going to be log of the y-intercept. And how to represent y-intercept? Maybe I will call it y naught, where y naught is the y-intercept of the so-called semi-log plot, right? So these are the two formulas which you got to remember. Uh, all we have to do is just find these points and get our equation. So let's do that. First, uh, we know that this point is 25, so we are sorted over the y-intercept. Let's take any two points on the curve so that we can find the slope. Um, this point is going to look like 1, comma, I think, uh, 10, 20, 30, and 40. Because this is 10, so this is 20, this is 30, and this is 40, yeah. And this point is going to look like 5, comma, I would say this is 100, so that's going to be 200. Yeah. So the slope, what is the slope? That's going to be log of y2 over y1, y2, y1, so 200 over 40, um, over x2 minus x1, which is just 5 minus 1. I'm just going to grab my calculator over here and find this 200 over 40 log of this value divided by 4. Uh, you might be wondering that, uh, this is 0 0.1747 by the way, you might be wondering that I have not mentioned what is the base of this log. Yes, I have not. Because that depends on how is the semi-log axis scale, and that should be given in the question. Since it is not given in the question, at least in this question, I'm just taking a default log with base time. So this is my y, uh, this is my slope, and the y-intercept is going to be b is equal to log of y naught. Y naught is twenty-five, so approximately a one point three nine around, maybe one point four zero, a one point three nine seven nine. If I were to go to four decimal places, so I got my b. I got the um, the value of m. All I need to do is write the equation, which is going to look like y is equal to mx plus b, where m is 0 0.1747, x plus b is 1.3979 over here. Right, so this is how we convert a semi-log into a linear plot, but we are not done yet. We have to convert this linear into an exponential I'm just going to make a replica of it and add a new uh, page over here. So my job is now, oops, my job is now to convert this uh, 
uh, he, uh, this linear curve into the original function because the original function is, is exponential, right? Uh, so I want that. Okay, it's like reverse engineering. So replace y with log of y and base 10, of course. Log of y because originally y was not y, right? Y was log of y. If you uh, are confused with this, please see the part two video. I've explained this. So replace y with log y. Uh, and rest of the things will just remain as it is. And all you have to do now is take nt log on both the sides. So that's going to look like 10 raised to, you know, 10 raised to this complete thing uh, on the on uh, on the power. So that's going to look something like this. This can be segregated as 10 raised to 0.1747x times 10 raised to 1.3979. And 10 raised to uh, 10 raised to 1.3979. How how will that turn out to be? 1.3979. That's about 25. About 25, which should be not the case because that was also 25, if you remember. So that should be 24.9977. That's what I'm getting as this. And what is 10 raised to? Because a uh, 10 raised to this thing can also be written as 10 raised to 0 0.1747. Uh, raised to x so that's going to look like about 25 and 10 raised to 0.1747 looks like 1.5 1 1.5 about 1.5 or up to four decimal places that's going to look like 1.4952 raised to x so this is the original function uh, which we uh, actually synthesized from the semi log plot uh, so I hope this makes sense and this clears up all the confusion, if at all uh, you would be having about the semi-log. Uh, if you have any questions, please post that in the comment section. And uh, just before you go, there is one question for you to try as an example. Please go ahead and try this question. Uh, uh, the question is similar to what I did. This is a semi-log plot. Assume the base of 10. Uh, give me two equations. One is the linear equation and then eventually the exponential equation. If you have that posted down, I'll let you know if your answer is correct or not. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.